हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द न्यू सेशन ऑफ रिसर्च मेथडोलॉजी दिस इज डॉक्टर शर्मिला गंगाड़े फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बायोटेक्नोलॉजी स्टूडेंट इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैड गॉन थ्रू द रिसर्च प्रॉब्लम इंट्रोडक्शन टू द रिसर्च प्रॉब्लम सिलेक्टिंग द रिसर्च प्रॉब्लम नेसेसिटी ऑफ सिलेक्टिंग द रिसर्च प्रॉब्लम एंड इट्स एविडेंस टू द सॉल्विंग रिसर्च वर्क इन टूडेज सेशन स्टूडेंट वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट द रिसर्च प्लान so the question come that developing a research plan is one of the important task to come in the research process now let us see that how the research plan could be examined and proceed in the research work while developing the research plan it is a next stage after defining and redefining the research problem so student in the last two session we had discuss about what is research problem how to identify that research problem how to define that research problem and how to formulate it to do the research process so after identifying and defining the research problem researcher must arrange his ideas in order and write them in the form of an experimental plan and what is been described as a research plan so student let us see that what do you mean by research plan and how this research plan has to be developed what are the components key components should be included in the research plan in order to do the research so research plan is essential specially for as everybody know that the something if we fail to plan we plan to fail so that is the reason why it is more essential for every research work that we should have some blueprint or some plan in our hand in order to proceed in a better manner so research plan is essential specially for this aspect the first aspect is it helps him to organize his ideas in a form whereby it will be possible for him to look and for the flaws and inadequacies if any so mainly what it does is it provides an inventory approach to do the research whatever material is required for the research work that could be collected for the preliminary step so when we proceed with the research plan we can able to know that which kind of data has to be collected which kind of materials and methods has to be adopted so all these questions will be solved when you have the research plan in your hand research plan is not only the document but it also a blueprint that can give us about the comment of others as like any expert uh examiners or also our colleagues who are going through that research plan they come to know that how the research has been proceed so research plan must contain the following items student research is basically proceeded with the objective as that we have discussed already in the last two session so research problem will define us what objective should be taken for the investigation so that should be included in the research plan so research objective should be clearly stated in a line or two which tells exactly what is the researcher has to do or expected to do so in research plan the first most thing which is going to be arranged is nothing but research objective that objective will clear that what researcher expected to do in his research work second thing which is even expected is the problem to be studied by the researcher by which it is uh, stated that one may know what information is to be obtained i mean to say after objective the goal or the information or the data which has been obtained or collected for solving problem that could also be get from the research plan each major concept which researcher want to do or want to take in his or her research process will be defined in a operational terms so that operational terms could be incorporated in the research plan as such so this is what in context to the research project the plan should contain the methods which has been used for solving the problem researcher must know before starting the research that which kind of methods has to be adopted for that methods he must know technique as well so the plan must also state the details of the technique to be adopted for instance if you want to go for interview method then on account of its nature you should know that what is the procedure has to be followed to take the interviews 
सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द की कॉन्सेप्ट दैट रिसर्च प्लान मस्ट एक्सप्लेन वेन यू आर गोइंग टू डेवलप द रिसर्च प्लान फॉर द एक्सटेंसिव रिसर्च वर्क दैट इज वॉट द इम्पॉर्टन्स ऑफ द रिसर्च प्लान इन द रिसर्च वर्क एज वेल the plan must also contain methods and which are you going to be used for processing the data dear friends statistical and other methods are going to be used which indicates in the plan that will give us the aura of your research work therefore the processing data methods used for processing the data that should be incorporated in the research plan and last but not least result of pilot test sometimes many researchers they gone through the preliminary survey methods or preliminary uh, research work so that pilot reading result of that pilot test whether this research work in the future whether it is going to be successful or not that could also be reported before you are going to start the research work so that you will get a way to proceed for the research work as such so and the another technical but most important point that time for the research work cost budget of the research project that should be prepared once you come with the entire research plan you can come out with all these things that how many how much time is been required for the research project as well as what it cost for the research project so these are the things that which are really important for the research work and because of this basically the research plan is important in context with researcher now the next topic student after research plan we need to see that types of data and data collection method student as i already explained you that research plan must contain what type of data has to be collected what type of material has to be collected for your research work once you have been clear with your problem once you define your problem once you identify your problem once you formulate your problem you have been pretty clear with which kind of data or materials has to be collected so the task of data collection begins after the research problem has been defined and that's sir that's why in the first two sessions we have studied that how to define the problem and in this session we are going to see how to see the research plan and in the plan there is a most important task we need to do is nothing but the data collection now data collection though it is a preliminary method but it helps a lot for doing a research work by the researcher so while deciding about the method of data collection all the researcher must know that researcher should keep it in mind that there are two types of data in research methodology which are two types of data the as it is been there in your slide first is primary data and second is secondary data so these two types of data has to be collected by the researcher for the research work let us see that what do you mean by primary data and secondary data as far as the primary data is concerned the primary data are those data which are collected afresh and for the first time happen to be original in character and students this kind of data is supposed to be collected by the researcher himself or herself so this is called as primary data primary data is collected first time it is not been published anywhere or it is not been seen anywhere it is a fresh and collected first time on the contrary if we can say the secondary data the secondary data on the other hand it have already been collected by someone published by someone or have already been passed through the statistical processes so such a kind of data is called as a secondary data so based on the different types of data students you will have a different methods for data collection so primary data must be collected during the course of doing experiments in an experimental research but in case if you do the research for the descriptive type you should go with the surveys so sample survey census surveys or we can say that many surveys you have to do and this surveys will give you the result so survey based research survey based uh, results will be given by the survey based data collection so survey based method of primary data collection could be through observation or through the communication so as per as the primary data is concerned there are several methods of collecting the primary data as listed the first method is observation method as the 
रिसर्चर फर्स्ट टाइम ऑब्जर्व समथिंग इंटरव्यू मेथड द रिसर्चर गोइंग टू टेक और इंटरव्यूज ऑफ डिफरेंट पॉपुलेशन और रेस्पोडेंट थ्रू क्वेश्चन एयर्स क्वेश्चन एयर्स मीन्स दे आर द फ्रेम क्वेश्चन थ्रू स्केड्यूल्स एंड अदर मेथड विच इंक्लूड्स द डिफरेंट वॉरंटी कार्ड्स और ऑडिट्स और सम अदर मेथड्स ऑफ कलेक्शन कलेक्शन ऑफ डेटा फ्रॉम द रेस्पोडेंट्स सो दिस मेथड्स बेसिकली स्टूडेंट्स आर इंक्लूडेड इन द प्राइमरी डाटा कलेक्शन नाउ लेट एस सी वन बाय वन वॉट डू यू मीन बाय द ऑब्जर्वेशन मेथड ऑब्जर्वेशन मेथड इज बेसिकली अ मेथड फॉर प्राइमरी डाटा कलेक्शन ऑब्जर्वेशन मेथड इज द मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज मेथड स्पेसिफिकली इन द स्टडीज रिलेटेड टू रिलेटेड टू द बिहेवियरल साइंसेस एंड ऑब्जर्वेशन मेथड हैज बीन कैटेगराइज एज अ स्ट्रक्चर्ड ऑब्जर्वेशन एंड अनस्ट्रक्चर्ड ऑब्जर्वेशन structured observation means researcher first have decided that what to observe how to observe where to observe and what will be its implementation in their research work but some of the unstructured observation are like that the researcher has not intended to see that particular thing in that particular research but still has gone through the unstructured observation so unstructured observation doesn't have any schedule or any uh, observation method it is just been happened by the researcher unknowingly and that data which is been collected will be helpful for as a primary data second method student it is a interview method the interview method of collecting data involves presentation of oral verbal stimuli it mean that one person is asking a question and another person is uh, giving response to it so it replies in terms of oral verbal responses therefore this method can be used through personal interview as well as telephonic interview in both the cases you will have the oral verbal stimuli and oral verbal responses third method is through the questionnaires a questionnaire as the word suggest it consist of a number of questions printed or typed in a defined order on a form or a set of form so the questionnaire student it is it it may be mailed to the respondent who are expected to do the uh, to read and understand and then answer to that question or one may can write down the reply of the space meant to be given for the questionnaire itself so respondent have to answer that question and according to that uh, answers which has been collected through the questionnaires the researcher will framed the different questions as well as statistical analysis so questionnaire consists of a number of questions and that answers will mean to be a statistical analysis for the researcher through schedule students this method of data collection is very much like that the collection of data through questionnaires just a little difference is that here lies the schedule pro forma where uh, uh, their schedule has been filled by the numerator and who is specifically appointed for that purpose and uh, through that schedule they are going to give you the actual answers into that questionnaires and this is the way like uh, suppose you are going to see that uh, we have taken the appointment for interview that is called as schedule interviews and in that the questions are set and based on that we are going to ask the question and we'll get the answer that data will be helpful for the survey based research other methods which includes warranty cards distributor or store audits pantry audits consumer panels use of mechanical devices projectable techniques depth interview content analysis and what not students we have already uh, gone through the all these things because whenever we purchase something we have the warranty cards whenever uh, we visit to the different malls and everywhere we are uh, encountered with different store audits pantry audits consumer panels where they take the feedback of uh, the different um, different things which we have been grocery or anything which we are going to buy so there is this all uh, projective techniques are basically used for the data collections so uh, this is all about uh, students uh, about the primary data collection the last method come is collection of secondary data so let us understand what is the secondary data as i already spoke secondary data means the data that are already available 
they are referred to the data which have already been collected by someone analyzed by someone so secondary data may either be published or unpublished data but still it is already been analyzed by someone so usually published data are available in various websites and journals so these secondary data is been collected in order to have the review of the literature so the review of the literature is called as the secondary data collection so secondary data mean to be collected by means of the various published and uh, published journals as well as published book and all so this is the way that the secondary data has been collected so collection of secondary data researcher must have to be very careful by using the secondary data because otherwise the work may get plagiarized so he must make a minute scrutiny because of it is possible that the secondary data may be unsuitable or inadequate in context to the problem because we are collecting the data which is in context to our research problem so we have to see that what are the inadequate things in that what are the important things in that what are the things which are not meant to be for your research work so these are the things that we have to see and then and then only we have to uh, select the data or material for your research work this is student uh, some of the data method collection of secondary data methods which includes the individual case study studies of organizations and institutions studies events and role relationship individual case studies community studies social group studies etc so there are different methods by which we are going to collect the secondary data collection of secondary data not only mean to be uh, get plagiarized but also it definitely helps for the review of literature but by way of caution the researcher before using secondary data he use to see that whether this data possesses reliability whether this data possesses suitability or whether this data possesses adequacy in that research work if it so then and then only we have to see for the secondary data so secondary data is not always fatal but the secondary data should not be uh, actually based on all these things which have been already done because research mean to be a existing knowledge along with that what new or novelty we are going to proposed in the world that is the reason why secondary more use of secondary data will not mean to be in your research work the next and the last point student that is called as case study method so case study method is also one of the uh, data collection method and this is also one of the minor research work which we can do basically first of all understand what is the case study method the case study method is a very popular form of qualitative analysis and it involves a careful and complete observation of a social unit say for the sake that any person of that unit or a family or a institution or a cultural group or even the entire community we can say that so all these things could become as a case and we solved it in order to see any pros and cons or causation of that cases or what are the things could prevent such a cases to be ha happened in the Uh, future so it is a method of study in depth rather than breadth so the case study places more emphasis on the full analysis of a limited number of events or the condition and that uh, relations so case study deals with the process that takes place in their interrelationship thus case study is essentially an intensive in investigation of a particular unit under the consideration for example i would like to say a student if we can take a case of hiroshima nagasaki uh, attack which is a nuclear attack has been there and right now still also the people are facing problem out of it so if we have taken certain kind of a case we need to investigate that what was the reason because of that the case has happened what could be the preventive measure should be taken so that we can avoid such a cases so this answers will be come only when we can go with the case study method so in the case study method one thing that we need to see is evolution and scope it means that the case study method is widely used in a systematic field research technique this method concerning problems pertaining to their areas 
इवन मैनेजमेंट एक्सपर्ट यूज केस स्टडी मेथड फॉर गेटिंग क्लूज आउट ऑफ इट सो केस स्टडी मेथड इज यूज इन सेवरल डिसिप्लिन नॉट ओनली दिस इट इज ऑल्सो इंक्रीजिंग डे बाय डे इन केस ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटीज इन केस ऑफ आर्ट्स कॉमर्स साइंस एवरीवेयर द रिसर्चर्स आर गोइंग टू यूज केस स्टडी मेथड विच विल गिव यू अ लार्ज इंसाइट्स इन देयर रिसर्च वर्क so only the major phases that you should know about the case study method is it consists of the following uh, you can say that the different methods or phases and that phases are first is recognition and determination of status collection of data for examination and history diagnosis and identification of casual factors i mean to say what are the remedial or developmental treatments after that case has happened application of remedial measures that is treatment and therapy after that case has happened follow up program to determine effectiveness of the treatment applied so these are the major phases we should incorporate in your case study so the first thing is that recognize and determine means understand the case first collect the data examine it and history of the given phenomena diagnose and identify the causal factors application of remedial measures like that treatment and therapy and the last one is follow up which has been taken to determine the effectiveness of that treatment apply so these are very important data collection method students so these methods are basically used while doing research so hope you understand what is research plan how that research plan has been developed what are the different types of data collection method what are primary and secondary data and how the data collection methods could be adopted as well as the case study method thank you